So in my final game in Nova, I finally, finally have had a chance to finish up these uh, Nova battle reports. So this is game six of the Nova tournament, and it's the uh, final game of the weekend. And I had noticed going into this game that uh, if you went by table position, I had jumped 20 spots uh, between games five and game six. So uh, I had a big jump for my big win in game five. So I was looking for a big win here to kind of finish out the weekend. So uh, I ended up playing against Andrew. Uh, he's from New Jersey and uh, he had come down. This is his first GT. He was playing Empire and he had, uh, well, we'll go through his list. So this is starting on his uh, his left, my right flank. He had a steam tank. You can see he's done the, the sideways deployment. A uh, big unit of uh, demigriffs, uh, the Hellblaster, and the uh, this is these, you know the big night bus. It's got Luther Huss in it. Um, and then there's a cannon. I believe another Hellblaster in front of that. There's some skirmishing archers and uh, some hand gunners. And uh, also he has a level four uh, lore of metal mage, I believe, and it's uh, in the unit with the hand gunners. So we have my same list as the other Nova armies. It's it's, it's a fairly stock standard warriors list. Two Chimera. Skull Crushers, Warriors, Hell Cannon, uh, the D D BSP and the Demon Prince are behind the hill to, so as not to get shot in the first turn. This is a weird, uh, infinitely tall hills tournament. So uh, Then you got my dogs back there. My dogs are back there in kind of a weird spot because uh, I want them to go claim objectives. So uh, I, I don't want them to get damaged early. Um, and then my four chariots are in the middle. And the idea is to just bum rush those war machines on, uh, on the fl his flank over there and just pound through them as best we can and then worry about uh, the knights afterwards. I think I can, uh, I've got a turn just to get up there faster than he is, get on his flank, and then make him make some tough decisions about where to go. If I have to sacrifice a chariot or two, it's no big deal. So first turn, everybody runs forward. Uh, I know my Demon Prince has to take a shot uh, one way or the other, so I put him so that the cannon can shoot at him, uh, but I put the uh, Chimera in front of him, hopefully blocking some of the line of sight and the buildings blocking line of sight elsewhere. Uh, everything else is rushing forward. We're going to get uh, that flank cleared up. And uh, in response, you can see he broke his uh, he broke his wizard off and took it over to those near those war machines. Kind of left him out alone, uh, which was odd. Um, but that that's where he went with it. And he you know t does his barrage of fire. I'm hiding. The steam tank can't shoot me, uh, or at least can't shoot the demon prince because it's uh, because of the building. And this is what happens in my turn. Basically, everything goes in. This is after we cleared up the combat. This is this is going to be a quick battle report, obviously. Um, we smash into everything. The wizard dies. The cannons die. The archers die. You know, it just ugh, the gunners are dead. And I'm up on his flank uh, with his. Uh, you know, he's got his knights, but now I'm on his side and his front. So. It's tricky what he's going to do here. And what he ends up doing, he kind of inches, he moves forward, points his uh, remaining artillery at me. And uh, yeah, I, I pull the chariots up somewhat, but it's, uh, it's not looking good. And this is, uh, yeah, this is what ends up happening to his knights. He's got a chimera in the rear. I'm Demon Prince in the side, Skull Crusher in the side. Uh, sorry about the quality of the picture. He's got four chariots in the front. He's got the BSB in the flank. And uh, you can see the orange template there. I threw the Nurgle uh, Vortex through the unit of knights. And it landed in front of the Demigriffs, which means the Demigriffs can't charge through it in their turn. Uh, meaning he can't, e he can't even counter charge uh, here. And at this point, um, very soon thereafter, uh, he called the game. 
and uh, this ended up being a, a maximum victory for me. So, uh, this this game probably I think lasted an hour out of the two and a half hour, uh, if that forty five minutes to an hour out of the two and a half hour game length. It was it was really quick, and uh, it just I, I think it just caught Andrew off guard, and and he didn't get the rolls with the war machines that he needed to uh, protect his flank. So. Uh, he had some bad luck there, and I managed just to, to get a hold of him really well. So, um, ended up with Nova. Uh, this With this big win, I jumped a ton of spa spots again, and uh, out of 64 players, ended up finishing ninth overall. I had a, I had a really good paint score, and uh, with the extra battle points on day two, I uh, ended up ninth out of 64. So, uh, pretty, pretty good showing overall. Um, and now I'm uh, preparing to run Grail Quest down in Durham, North Carolina. So that'll be the next thing. Uh, I don't think I'll be attending another GT until probably next spring. So this is uh, it's going to be a big hiatus for me. Uh, but I'm hoping to crank out some, some good armies and uh, play some good local Warhammer in the meantime. So hope you enjoyed the battle report. I know it was a short one, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll have some fun games coming up. Uh, in the next couple of days.